What is going on guys and girls, my name's Evolution and a welcome to Feed the Beast Infinity. So guys and girls, I have got so much to update you all on because I have been busy, busy, busy. So straight away, look at my badass pickaxe we've got here. So obviously in the first episode, we introduced the Tinker's Construct mod and I've been playing around with it a little bit and I've made myself a new improved enhanced pickaxe and we're going to go and make some other tools like a sword and perhaps a axe as well at some point and I will sort of go through the more advanced sides of Tinkers but this is just a little showcase so I've got um, a flint pickaxe and it's reinforced with diamond as well as um, obsidian plating and I've also got I think it's about 40 redstone 42 redstone to increase the speed but uh, that might not mean anything to you guys, and I will cover that in a, another episode. But uh, as I have a little walk around, you guys might, you know, think things are looking a little bit better. I've added some thickened glass. It looks quite cool. I've got these inverted lamps as well, which produce some nice, like, modern-looking actual lights as opposed to the torches. And uh, I've got myself a new machine here as well, which is the sag mill. And I'm placing torches everywhere. <laughs> I've got a sag mill, uh, which actually allows me to... Get lots of bone mill. Basically, in the nether, there is these bone blocks. And uh, put them in the sag mill, and boom, you get, like, insane amounts of bone mill. So uh, that's pretty nifty. But the main reason I'm creating this video to give you guys an update is to introduce you all to the new lavatory. So let's go up to the lab now. We're going to close this. We don't want anyone sneaking up, sneaking up here with us. So we've got these cool staircases. Are you guys ready for this? I'm not sure if you're going to be able to handle the awesomeness that, you know, that are sitting up the top of these stairs. But let's do it, guys. So, welcome to the lab. So, it's it's nothing major at the moment. I've just been, you know, working in my spare time. At the moment, it's um, actually segmented into these three areas. So, when you come upstairs, you've got this main little hub here with the little window, which was originally always here, but I've just made uh, changed it over to thickened glass. And at the moment, I've got a crimson guy here. Uh, is it the crimson? Uh, let's have a look. Crimson, yeah, the crimson guy, and he's got his little flag there. I don't know why he's sitting there. It's just to fill up the space in the wall. Over here, I've got my second little area with, again, a nice little viewpoint. And over here, I've also integrated um, it down into the cave, which is beside the house. Uh, do you remember we come in here to do a bit of mining? It's just along, you know, round the side of the mountain, so which is pretty cool because it gives us easy access for mining. I can hop in down there and whatnot. And at the moment, the main area that I'm working on is in here. It's a little bit dark, I know, it looks a little bit crazy, because it's not quite finished, but this is going to be our main lab area. Once it's finished, obviously it's a, a decently sized room, you know, it's ample space in here, I feel, and we are going to move all our machines up here so we can have them all nicely laid out, you know, none of this fiddling around mining blocks to access anything. It'll be nice and spaced, and uh, as you can see, there's plenty of rooms for machines and whatnot. And also, you know, we'll uh, put some doors on and any noise, any racket the machines make. I know the sawmill makes tons of sort of soaring noises, funnily enough. And they can make some loud noises. So if it's all, you know, set up here, it's not going to disturb us if we're, say, in this room or whatnot. So the further away, the better, to be honest. Despite the noises are cool, they can get frustrating. Um, but apart from that, I've... Uh, not really got anything exciting to keep you guys updated on. I have been mining, and I finally got round to macerating, or pulverizing, in fact, sorry, pulverizing and smelting up our ores. Um, so where are we at with that? We got quite a bit of copper, iron. Let's sort this up, make it a little bit easier. Yes, so we've got about three and a half stacks of tin, a bit more copper, um, a little bit of lapis, you can see for yourself, guys. I've almost got a stack of gold, which is pretty decent. I've got to admit, we're running out on coal because I'm using them on the steam dynamos at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's the steam dynamo, isn't it? And I've got some other bits in here, just some random sort of It's got some nether quartz and... Uh, what else we got in here? We've got, some, so we've got some random bits in here. This is sort of where I've been throwing all my rubbish. So, obviously, we was discussing about my awesome Tinker's Construct pickaxe made out of flint. Well, it, it's not that awesome, but it is at the current stage that we're at in the game. That's the main point you guys need to realise. In fact, we're just going to quickly repair this with a bit of flint. There we go. Nice. Alrighty. So, I am going to start looking into making us at 
I believe it's Alumite. I'll quickly show you. An Alumite set of tools. So if I go over into the book that you get given for Tinker's Construct, here we go. So, the material is Alumite. It's pink and beautiful. Look at that. So, the full tool durability, if you do it all out of Alumite, is at default 909. It's got a default mining speed of 8, which isn't bad considering my little flint bad boy down there is at about 9. But bear it in mind, that's fully modded. That's that it came at default at 5.25 it took me ages to find that statistic there so the flint starts at 5.25 whereas the alumite starts at 8 so almost a 3 mining speed increase which is about 30% faster um, also the durability is much better so we're going to look to make ourselves some alumite tools because I think they'll be pretty good and also they have a higher mine level you can actually get cobalt with that miner level 4 which is rather important so if we open up the NEI really quickly and let's just have a look at how you might shall we here we go so you can see all the beautiful pink tools I know let's look at uh, uh, a block of how you might go into an ingot let's see how you actually make it so it should be the smeltery it is indeed so this is the tinkers construct smeltery which we're gonna need to craft at some point uh, and molten alumite is actually crafted, well not crafted, but produced by mixing molten obsidian, molten iron, and molten aluminium. So we've got tons of aluminium. Red uh, iron isn't hard to come across. We've got like almost three stacks of that. Obsidian, not so much. Um, I've got the, the flint pickaxe is able to mine obsidian, so I have got some but not a lot. So we mix these three uh, in this ratio in the smeltery and we'll get ourselves whole 48 MB of alumite. So uh, to be honest, I don't know how much, for instance, 48 will produce us, whether that would be almost five tools or perhaps it might only be half of one tool. I don't know how much uh, we'll be able to use sort of in one go. But um, I think we're going to look into making some of that for ourselves. And as far as tool goes... Let's have a look. So we're currently running with a pickaxe. We're going to make a better pickaxe. We're going to want a shovel, of course. Um, a hatchet, for sure. Um, perhaps a cool sword as well. So we've got a choice here between broadsword, longsword, and rapier, and dagger. Uh, I don't think we're going to worry about the frying pan. Nor the chisel. Maybe the lumber axe might be one to consider. And especially the hammer as well. So the hammer is a heavy mining tool meant for digging out large areas. It's also effective on the undead. So it's basically like a better version of the pickaxe. Only good when you're mining in large areas. It's not good for precision mining. But when I'm trying to clear a big room out, like I have been at the moment, a hammer would be awesome at that time. And the excavator is a completely same thing, but it's better for digging. So it's sort of, you got the hammer is the, the, the pickaxe and the excavator is like the shovel. So maybe them two would be pretty awesome as well. And um, we've also got some range tools, just the just the short bow, I believe, and um, perhaps a long bow. I'm not too sure. We'd have to look in the other book for some more weapons. But yes, guys, so here is the lab. I hope you guys like it. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the lab and uh, what you guys think I should put in here. At the moment, I'm thinking about moving all the machines into there with all the power, just so we can clear some space up downstairs. And of course, let me know what you want to do next, because I think we're going to invest in making ourselves a smeltery part of Tinker's Construct. Just, oh, I fell in the pond. <laughs> so here is the lab from the outside, because obviously we've got the cool little windows and uh, the stone brick combination. That's what it looks like from outside. I quite like it. It just looks so modern. I don't know. I'm just, I find it awesome. So before we wrap this episode up, let me quickly have a look how to make one of these smelteries. I'm pretty sure we need grout. Yeah, so we need a controller, a drain, uh, but primarily we're going to want these seared bricks. That's what make them up. And to make the seared bricks, you need four seared brick. And to make them, we need grout. And to make grout, you can see we need this combination of a piece of clay, a piece of sand, and a piece of gravel. So in fact, that gives us two grout, which isn't too hard actually at all. So yeah, I definitely think we'll give the uh, the smeltery go in the next episode and make ourselves some awesome tools. Because then that way, you know, better tools, we can mine quicker, kill things easier. It just generally makes our Minecraft experience much easier. 
And I mean, despite I've got this cool little guy, you know, he'll soon be outdated and we need to up our game a little bit. So to be honest, this was practically really just a bit of an update video, but um, you know, I felt that it deserved to be an actual published video. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. This is your chance now today, guys, to drop me any feedback or any suggestions or any constructive criticism. Drop the comments in this video. Of course, do it on any other, but uh, I'll sort of be keeping an eye out, especially on this one. Give me some feedback on what you're thinking on my Feed the Beast Infinity World as of yet. Any suggestions, let me know. As always, guys, I hope you guys look forward to the next episode.